And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Mr. Dam. Mr. Dam is ranked number one in his goal division with 2,807 points, 330 wins, and 311 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the southwest up against Mr. Dam. And with a name like Mr. Dam, you knew he had to be Zerg. He is blue in the northeast. The map is Zelnaga Caverns, which is one of my least favorite maps to fight a Zerg player on because of this ridiculous expansion here. I say ridiculous, it's not too bad, but there are four technically four entrances into that expansion, so it is very hard to defend against a any kind of build really, but especially Zergling, Baneling, and Mutas that are so popular, so standard, but Roaches and Hydras are also tough to defend against on this map. So since that first expansion is so tough to defend, I always want to go for some early aggression on this map. I want to get three racks up and in case the Zerg player went for a fast expansion, I can snipe that first expansion and then I can start to move from there. I am sending my scout out here. Do I have him queued up? No, I what I need, what I should be doing, but it's not that important against a Zerg player because it is tough to do that kind of stuff on a Zerg. But um, against a Terran or a Protoss player, uh, just just stop at the Zelnaga Towers on the way in case they have something starting to build there. I've never seen it, but you know, you never know, and it's just going to cost you about 10 seconds before you're in there. Oh no, I spotted it too late. I went to check the expansion. There was nothing there, so I started going to his base, and then the drone was able to get in and build the hatchery. Uh, but I'm getting some scouting done inside his base nonetheless. I am trying to find out exactly what he is going for here because... Oh, look at that. Oh, bad placement on the spawning pool. Look at that. Right right in the way. Can I, can, no, I can't click all of them, but you can see right there, it is going to delay the mining on the gas, thanks to that spawning pool. Bad, bad placement. I am going for one Rax right now, because that is all the minerals I have to do. Spawning pool is on the way. It looked like it was a 14 hatch, followed by about a 15, or uh, maybe a 14 pool into a gas and once again yeah he picked the good gas here uh, because this one is blocked off by his spawning pool looking at the resources I, I am the only one with gas so far of course uh, we do have the same amount of harvesters I just spawned one out so I guess so I do have the lead here I should never have the lead because uh, those guys can train a lot faster but it looks like uh, no I'm expanding that lead but a spine crawler going down as expansion because he does want to defend against any sort of early push here. But what I could have done, instead of going for three racks as I normally do, I could go for two racks, no add-ons, never bother getting gas, and just start sending marines here once I knew that he was going for that expansion. What? That is... How do you get all those? That's eight there. Oh, he just transferred them from here. So he's got 13 here, and 8 here. Why? Whatever. Uh, those those harvesters are not going to mine any faster from the expansion than they are from the main base. So I don't know why he transferred so many of them. He did send one Tesla Zergling up into my base, and I saw this, the second one, which just finished healing right there. So that is enough to scare me into bunkering up. He is going for Zergling Speed, Metabolic Boost it's called. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's crazy. And gross. Zerg's are, Zerg is gross. Anyways, I sound like a girl, don't I? Zerg is gross. So I'm going for two supply depots because it looked like I supply locked myself for a bit there. Uh, meanwhile, I do have stim pack and concussive shells on the way. Fully loaded bunker, a few marines, no marauders out it looks like. They are just starting to build right now. Uh, going for a second refinery, uh, continuing to pump out SCVs, and I need a mule. What am I doing? 
Oh no, it looks like I dropped a scan inside his base. So I'm gonna spot the spine crawler. I can actually see the baneling nest from there. I know it doesn't really look like it, but I definitely can see the baneling nest. So I am going to salvage my bunker and try to get some damage done on him before those banelings come my way. I do not like those banelings. So, um, they're green. I'm not even gonna try. I was gonna go for a green eggs and ham reference, but I could not make it. So I do have an engineering bay up. I don't have anything being researched there yet. Why Why not? There we go. It is a little bit delayed. I am going for his base here because I know he went for that early expansion. He can't have that many drone, he can't have that many attacking units out if he tried to drone up, especially now that I find a spine crawler in there. I assume that when he went for that, he went for it because he did not have any attacking units. So here I'm going around the back of his base. So I'm trying to get damage done, trying to get some sneaky damage done. The spine crawler is out of position no matter where I'm coming from. If I'm coming from over here, maybe, but Really, this is just to prevent a run by, but still, it's out of position. A second queen is out at his at his expansion. Does he still have? Yes, he still has one in his main, so he does have three queens here. And here, I'm just going to get a full concave on the expansion. That spy caller cannot hit me from there. So, thank you, free hatchery. Now just stimming up, there are a ton of Zerglings here, so I'm not going to be able to run away from that and they, because they do have speed, and I'm only able... No, I don't get any queens, but I am able to get the hatchery, so that is four, no, 300 minerals down the drain, and of course 50 on the drone that was used to build it, and a spire is on the way here. Let's watch that thing pop up. Come on, you're almost done. Oh, you're a little bit further away from them than I thought. Come on, I want to see it. Do it. Ah, oh, it's twitching. Oh, there it is. Oh, penisy looking. What's this? He's going for a third expansion already? He doesn't even really have a second one right now. Zergling's going into my base. I will have enough reinforcements here to scare them off. And they run to the Zalmaga Tower and start morphing into Banelings. Centrifugal Hooks is on the way, and Mutalisks are on the way. I have no clue that there are Mutalisks out on the field right now, but it is the ten and a half minute mark, so I should be paying attention to the clock and realize, hey, I should probably think about missile turrets right now, but I don't really have the minerals for that. I'm actually strapped for minerals. I have more gas than I do minerals. That is not a good sign. But I am going for the expansion, so that could be the reasoning for that. But I'm still not doing that great in terms of mineral management right now. I do want to keep an eye on that because I have noticed that it has been slacking for me lately, uh, both in games that I have broadcast and games that I've played since then. Um, sometimes it takes some tough love to get me... Wow, look at that. Still amazed by graphics here. Hold on, hold on. There we go. How you doing? Anyways, all these Zerglings and throbbing, throbbing Banelings hanging out at the Zalnaga Tower. He does have four expansion or four bases, really, three expansions. Um, none of them are really mining. This one's kind of half mining. This one's fully saturated, maybe even oversaturated a bit. Yeah, 23. Maybe one too many, but... There we go, he is going for a transfer, going to go to his expansion, it looks like. Meanwhile, I'm just amassing this huge ball of marines and marauders. I do have a planetary fortress at the base, and I've decided that planetary fortresses are going to be three for me, because I've never really been using the three in my games. Um, I s oh, I haven't thought about that. I didn't think about that today. Um, you know, one, two, instead of one. Just, you know... Just a, a, a quick observation on, or a quick change in the in the settings on my hotkeys could make a huge difference for me in this game. Mulus are checking out my third expansion. I don't have it, and I don't usually go for that one. I usually go for this one third uh, because it is easy to get the planetary fortress up, and then once that planetary fortress is up, he will need air units to counter that. Uh, but all these zerglings and banelings are hanging out the Zalnaga Tower. They do not see my army over here. I went for this Zalnaga Tower instead. 
Realist, I still can't see them there. I'm still pissed about this. So inside the in my base they come, I'm actually paying attention to these guys here so I don't see them right away. Um, moving these marines down. They are not going to be able to handle all those mutas and they die very quickly. These marauders are just hanging out kind of like, what the hell do you want us to do? These two marines are not going to be able to finish the job either, but because I'm going inside his base here, I don't really care. I will be able to finish this off. All these drones are going to die. And I'm going to be able to snipe this hatchery once again. Broodling's popping out. They might get one kill. No, they do not. And here I'm going for eggs because... Why don't you go for eggs? Mutas are still inside my base. I'm trying to get as much damage on them as I can. I need to take these SCVs out of here, really. But I did not do that. Just, just not paying attention as much as I should. There we go. Stimming up and getting like one shot off before it dies. And I should be repairing this planetary fortress as well. I have oh so much minerals and gas. I'm falling apart here. I know I saw Zerglings pop out and come over here. Um, the rocks are still up though. So I but I do know that he has an expansion over here. So I'm gonna start taking those down too. He does have a ton of minerals and gas, even more than I do. He's trying to focus down the planetary fortress. Is he gonna do it? Yes, he is. And I catch it too late, so I just build. Uh, uh, yeah, just build a replacement there. But yeah, should not have let that die. That was awful. Twelve more Zerglings are on the way. I am doing a two-pronged attack here. Try I should be trying to snipe the Queen while she's there. It's always good to go for the Queen. Am I going to be able to do it? Yes, the Queen does go down, but then all these Zerglings are going to be enough to finish off these Marauders. I do have more here. Uh, but I did... Did I notice? Yes, I did notice a couple Zerglings coming from this way, so I sent my army inside this base. He has given away his expansions by not keeping track of his army. I'm taking down the Queen there. I'm going to go for the fact, er, for the hatchery there. I did lose all those Marines in there. You can still see, or the Marauders, you can still see their little parts there. Five uh, Banelings are out, and he has a few Zerglings on the way as well. But I'm sending reinforcements here, trying to take down the factory. I hate those broodlings. They do get two kills, it looks like. Oh, that was bad. All these Zerving Vambling humans are going to be enough. Come on. Oh, I wanted the Zerglings to pop. Or the Banelings to pop. Eh, don't be flashing that thing at me. So I've just built massive amounts of Marines here. Uh, because he had mutas, and mutas will scare me into marines, but now, knowing that he has banelings, I need to be getting marauders. But I just don't have enough minerals for it anymore, I did have to stop. Um, wow, because I have, yeah, I have almost nothing left in my main base, so I transferred all of them down here, trying to get mules up, trying to get uh, my, mer my minerals back up. So I'm stimming over, trying to take out these banelings. I am able to finish the job relatively fast. These guys are now 1-1. One, one. And the, oh, it was canceled, so the drone still lives. I did not catch that. I thought I had destroyed it. I'm taking out the queen relatively fast. The spine crawler is going down too. There's absolutely no need for marauders apparently. And he is forced to GG, so I win with a massive marine ball. And that's the game. So, but yeah, like 1400, 1700. That is way too many minerals. I do have 1200 gas. I needed to take these guys off of gas a long time ago. I need to start using my mules more. I need to get possibly another expansion at the high yield there's so much that i still could have done in this game even though i won i'm always looking to improve i do have five racks up a factory two star ports that apparently i never got anything out of because i started running low on minerals i do have two hellions out because he did have so many zerglings uh do i have no, it doesn't look like I have a one with the tech lab, so I don't have pre-igniter anywhere on the way. So let's check the APM tab. So I do have 40 APM, still low, but it is better than the 25 to 30 that I was getting on the laptop. Um, still producing, not enough, not just not producing enough. 
But yeah, that gas. That gas is inexcusable. And that's the game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this game. This one is a relatively different game. Just he overextended himself going for four bases, it looked like, all at once. You know, pretty much he was just off one base when he decided, I'm going to go for four. But I was able to spot that his army was just too spread out, able to take it out and then um, he pretty much had no mining left in his base and then he had no army left so that's the game hope you guys laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching